Hi everyone, my name is Bindu. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how to dynamically remove columns from a table in Power BI. So without any delay, let's get into my laptop. The tip I am going to show you now is actually very useful when you are trying to import the data from either PDF or Excel or some flat files. First, suppose you are trying to import data from Excel file into your uh, Power BI report. If the columns are blank, if there are some unwanted columns, they will get into your uh, data set as column 1, column 2 and so on. In case your file is small, then it's very easy for you to manually go and remove those one or two columns. But let's say if your file is a very large file it, and it has hundreds of columns, and these blank values or these blank columns, they, they might be somewhere in the middle of all those columns and it gets really tough for you to manually go and search those columns and delete them. In such cases, you can use this tip and easily remove the blank or null columns from your table, from your data set. Let's see how to do it. If you look at my screen here, I created a blank Power BI report and and I also created some random data set here with few columns. If you want to look at the data, so these are the columns I have, name and address and three blank or null columns. So I want to remove these three columns. Because it's a small data set, I can go here and delete them manually. But here in this video, I want to show you how, how you can do that dynamically if you have so many blank columns that you need to delete. Okay. Let's see how to do that. Initially, the first thing you need to do is you need to open the Power Query. You edit the query and I am here in the Power Query editor. Okay. And you see the data here, right? So the first thing you need to do is you need to add another step here. So to add the step, you click on this FX. <coughs> so here, what you need to do is you need to get the list of all columns that are there in your table. So the first step is to get all the columns, to list out all the columns. For that, the formula you will be using is table dot column names. Okay, and you'll be getting it from source. That's all. And here you got the, and here after the first step, you got the list of all the columns that are there in your table. Okay. And the next step, what's the next step is you need to identify the columns that starts with column. Because when you're trying to import the data from Excel, if, if the column values are blank or null, then they'll start with column, column one, column two, column three, and so on. So here the next step, the second step would be to identify all the column names that starts with column. Okay. So I'll be adding another step here. And to do that, I'll click on this FX. Okay. So here the formula will be list dot list dot find text. Okay. So here you'll be finding text from this custom one column which we just created and the text would be column okay that's all let's say okay and you got the three columns which have you got the three columns which starts with column column one column two and column three so the next step would be to delete all these three columns so for that you'll be adding another step to add the step you'll click you'll click on this fx and here you will say table dot remove columns right remove columns and uh, you will be removing columns from the source not from the custom two which we just created you will remove the columns from source so you write source here and the parameter you'll pass here is custom two which we just created it's the list which we created which has all the columns that needs to be deleted. So here I give the parameter name as custom2. And that's all. Now, now I have just two columns, names and address, and I got rid of the blanks or null columns, right? 
and if you look at the source here the first step we had all five columns and after after we delete all those unwanted columns this is the final step we just have two columns so this is how you dynamically delete the unnecessary unwanted columns that are that have blank or null values i hope this was helpful and if you like this video please hit the like button if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do subscribe and see you in the next video thank you